All right, this is going to be the breakdown of a stem player, the Donda stem player. This guy right here, it's model 1016, I believe, yeah. Um, the skin for it is pretty, I haven't taken this apart yet. Um, it works. I, I don't want to get copyright stricken or anything like that, but first things first, we'll turn it off. Um, this skin, I've heard is pretty, yeah, it is. So kind of just take it apart. And I'm not too worried about the skin. I'm thinking that the site's gonna sell it. This is my second stem player. So I'm not too worried if this one gets messed up. Let's see. So we got got four tiny, tiny screws. I think those are T Torx or T5 Torx. Yeah, let's. Yeah, it seems like it. Just gonna undo these real quick. Really tiny screws. You want to be careful with these types of screws too. Uh, with Torx, if you're trying to turn it too hard, you might wind up uh, stripping the, the head of the screw. And it's the last thing you want on a $200 piece of equipment, you know. So you just kind of want to put a lot more downward force while you're, while you're turning that. So we got all four screws taken out. Now this guy should just kind of prop open, right? Uh, still figuring this out. Oh, there we go. All right, no ribbons. Looks like this touch board right here. Take that apart later. And we kind of want all our screws in a nice little place, so just gonna throw that in here. And now we got the top part of it all. Um, seems like. How do these two communicate? Ah, there's like little, so these guys, they actually go into these little holes right here. What's up, cat? All right, so it looks like there's some more Torx, uh, three more. So we're going to take those and see what's underneath it. Looks to me right now like the memory is soldered onto the board. Um... I might go more into playing with it and seeing if I can uh, like desolder the board and do all that good stuff. Uh, I don't like that the battery pack is at the bottom because I could accidentally turn this on the way I'm doing this. The last thing I want is to turn something on and then having my finger short something. But at the same time, this is probably low voltage. so. I don't think it'll actually damage any components. And you got a million different diodes anyways, so probably break one of those before frying an actual main chip. So you got your positive and your common going into your speakers. Can I just disconnect that? No, I don't think I can. 
and then this board should kind of just slide up. There's a little port right here where that's that's where the USB C port is and the aux port. Um, chill out. Um, so you kind of want to be careful with something like that. Yo, chill. That's your toy. Yo, get down. Sorry about that. Just gonna kind of take this guy off. Is there an easier way? I don't see an easier way. So now we've got, yep, there's the battery pack right there. We could probably disconnect that right now just so that we're not playing with fire. And with these harnesses, you really don't want to just grab the wires. You want to grab the base of those connectors and just kind of pull that out. There we go. That makes me a lot more comfortable because... I don't like playing with things while they're live. What is this right here? This might be... Might be for the ports? No. What is this guy? So, you got this that connects to the board itself, but it doesn't actually really connect to anything. It looks like a little tiny board right there. kind of want to see what that is, though. Because I don't think there's any LEDs down there when, whenever you're actually using the player. Yeah, the memory itself is soldered on. That's a huge pain to actually... Wow, that is a huge pain. Okay. I'm, I'm doing this completely live. Like, I have not taken this apart yet, so it's still very fascinating to me. Um, trying to think of what I could possibly do to modify things later, if I can. Um, yeah, no, I don't think you really can. You're, the average person's just going to have to stick with whatever 8 gigabytes they, they were given. But let's figure out what, uh, what that last thing is for. I'm really curious. Is that just another speaker? We'll figure it out right now. Uh, so let's take this part, set that aside for right now. And we're going to take this guy back. And this is the whole control LED board and all that stuff. Oh, this is a different... This isn't T5, this is smaller than that. Uh, do I have smaller than T5? Let's see. Let's 
It's probably the smallest one I have. No, it's a T5 as well. No, I don't want to strip that. Let's check my box. You really want to apply that downward force. You don't want to try and force it any other way. This just seems to be like a guide for the the touch board. I'm gonna separate that on the other side. Hmm. Do I even want to take that apart? Eh, we may as well. Let's see. Let's see. What's the worst that can happen? All right, so we got that isolated. Now let's see if that's also T4. There we go. Oh, that one comes out nice and easy. So there is some tension on it. Is it spring? No, it's just held down. Okay. Yeah, so after I do this, it should just come up really easy and I need to be very careful with those ribbon cables. Oh wow, you can really see the engineering of it it's pretty fascinating actually like i can't really take it apart further than this Let me see if i can get the camera to autofocus there we go kind of see the insides i don't know if, let's let's try and get closer i don't know if i can but well, at least try. Mm, I don't think I can. Yeah, 
yeah, I think that's as far as I'm going to get. Um, yeah, so that's kind of the whole breakdown of the stem player. It's a pretty cool piece of tech. Um, thanks for watching, and hope that you learned something. Peace.